Well, guys, it is now time for my Week 17 picks in the 2022 NFL season. As last week, I went 11-5, which is nice and all that. Although, we would nice to have gone 12-4 and, and all that. But, have gone, like, five of the last six weeks have been unbelievable win seasons. As I'm starting to slowly recover my horrible start to the year. Although, still, I think this is one of the worst years I've had in predictions. Hopefully, these last two weeks will fix that. So, anyways... Here is the current regular season. The playoff stands at the season end of the day. In the AFC, the Bills are the number one seed with the Dolphins at Chiefs, Chargers at Bengals, and Ravens at Jaguars. In the NFC, it's the Eagles with the bye with Commanders at Vikings, Giants at 49ers, and Cowboys at Buccaneers. And my Super Bowl prediction is still the Bills over the Eagles. So now, let's get to my Week 17 picks, starting off with the final Thursday night game of the season. As is the Cowboys at the Titans for the first time since 2014. As the Cowboys won, no, the Titans won the last one. The Cowboys haven't beaten them since 2014. And they haven't won, no, the Titans haven't won in Nashville since 2000. As the Titans try to avoid their first losing season since 2015. And the Cowboys, if they lose or the Eagles win, they will be stuck as a wild card. Whereas the Eagles will clinch the division. But we'll get to that later on. So... Very important game for the, um, both teams. Cowboys need to win to keep within reach of getting the NFC East. Titans need to win to try and keep up with the Jaguars to clinch the division. As it's going to come down until next week, who's going to get it? As the Cowboys, I mean, the Titans are actually, I heard, going to be wrestling a bunch of stars too because they're not going to really take this game seriously until the final week and all that. That is, that is what's going to come down to the final week of the season for the Jaguars and Titans. The record's not going to really matter. So with that out of the way, I'm going to pick the Cowboys for this. Then we get to Sunday action as it starts off with the Cardinals at Falcons for the first time since 2018. Cardinals won the last one. The Falcons haven't beaten them since 2018. And the Cardinals haven't won in Atlanta since 1994. So the Cardinals, of course, uh, yeah, oh, that's right. They lost to the Buccaneers in a close overtime game. Unfortunately for them, they couldn't get it. Meanwhile, the Falcons had a close game against the Ravens, but they also couldn't get it. And they were eliminated from the playoffs as they're trying to have I me mean, get the um, same record they did last year. So they're going to have to win out for that. So it's a battle between two horrible teams. So who do you pick? Oh boy. Pro um, after seeing how close they played at the Buccaneers, I think I might pick the Cardinals for this one. But I guess I won't be surprised either if the Falcons get because this game to me seems like I can go either way. Then it's the Bears at the Lions. As the Lions won the last one, the Bears haven't won since 2021, and the, Lion, and the Lions haven't won at home against the Bears since 2017, as the Lions are trying to get back to 500, and if they lose and the Commanders win, they will be eliminated from the playoffs, so a lot on the line this one, as the Bears, just like the last week, I mean two weeks ago where they played a hard-fought game against the Eagles, they had a hard-fought game against the Bills, until the fourth quarter that was when they got obliterated by the Bills. Meanwhile, the Lions got absolutely ran over by the Panthers. Their horrible defense showed up as it kept them from getting into the playoffs right now, which they would have been at the moment if they did win that game. So this is a big one, as this could be interesting, but I am going to pick the Lions for this one until their defense disappoints and lets the Bears get the victory. Then it's the Jaguars at the Texans. As the Texans won the last nine, the Jaguars haven't beaten them since 2017. As the Jaguars are trying to get back at 500 for the first time since week four. As they beat the Jets on Thursday night and try and get closer to the win in the division. Meanwhile, the t Texans um, beat the Titans last week to get their second win of the season. These last three weeks, they've played a little bit better. Gotta not take them. Gotta take them seriously, even though they are the worst team in the league. I don't. I think that um defense stat didn't get updated correctly because there's no way they have the number one pass defense in the league. Because I remember like, all the times before they were like in the tw high twenties and all that. So that's gotta be incorrect. So Texas are a terrible team, but they have played really good the last three weeks. So they should not be underestimated. Plus, one of their wins was against the Jaguars, and they have the history against them. So you know what? In a possible upset, I'm going to pick the Texans to get this one. And then we get to Broncos at Chiefs. As the Chiefs won the last 14, the Broncos haven't beaten them since 2015. As, of course, the Broncos 
fired Hackett, their coach. So now I can't remember who they have as their coach. So now they're going to have to ride that out for the rest of the way. So the Broncos, of course, got crushed and humiliated by the Rams on Christmas. As the Chiefs, meanwhile, beat the Seahawks pretty convincingly. And the Chiefs, if they lose and the Bills win, they'll be stuck as the um, third seed or second seed at the moment. So they got a lot to do to clinch home field advantage. They got to win out and the Bills lose one. Or actually, no, Bills got to probably lose two. And then they got to hope the Bengals lose as well. So Chiefs not having a good spot in terms of that as well. As actually, they're not 11 free. I don't know how that happened. They're 12 and free. There we go. But yeah, I'm picking the Chiefs for this one, of course. Then we get a big AFC matchup as it's the Dolphins at the Patriots. The, pa the Dolphins won the last four. The Patriots haven't beaten them since 2020. As the Dolphins, if they win and the Jets lose, they will be in the playoffs for the first time since 2016. And the Patriots, if they lose, they will be eliminated from the playoffs. So, a lot on the line in this one. As, of course, the Dolphins lost to the Packers. They now lost four in a row. Two have played horribly. And he's not going to be playing this week for another concussion. He has just had the worst luck this season in terms of injuries. Just really unfortunate. So, they're going to have to rely on Teddy Bridgewater. Meanwhile, the Patriots got spanked by the Bengals. But then they made the comeback but couldn't get the deal done. As one team's on the verge of getting the playoffs, the other team will be eliminated if they lose. Very a lot on the line. Unfortunately for Dolphins, I really have no faith in them unless two is playing. Even then, they have not been playing good the last four weeks in terms of a four-game losing streak, so I'm going to pick the Patriots for this. And then it's the Colts at the Giants for the first time since 2014. Colts won the last four. The Giants haven't beaten them since 2002, and, they haven't, and the Colts haven't won. No, Giants haven't won at home against them since 1993. So the Colts, of course, lost the Chargers as they're pretty much Dead, like their offense is horrible. Just nothing's going their way. Meanwhile, the Giants had a very hard-fought game against the Vikings, but they just couldn't get the deal done. And the Giants, if they win, or the Lions, Seahawks, and Packers all lose, they will be in the playoffs for the first time since 2016. So a lot on the line, plus their first win season since 2016. They're lucky that that 7-2 start was enough to hold them on because they're barely they're around the verge of making the playoffs thanks to everyone else not doing so hot. So I'm going to pick the Giants. For this one, watch the Colts are going to pull off an upset. Then it's the Saints at the Eagles for the third year in a row. As the Eagles won the last two, the Saints haven't beaten them since 2018. And they haven't won in Philadelphia since 2009. So the Saints, if they lose or the Buccaneers win, they will be eliminated from the playoffs. Eagles, if they win or the Cowboys lose, they will clinch the NFC East for the, I mean, yeah, NFC East for the first time since 2019. And, of course, if they win, they will also get the number one seed for the first time since 2017. So, a lot on the line for both teams as the Saints of... Uh, who did they play again? Oh, that's right. They beat the Browns in a defensive struggle. Meanwhile, the Eagles lost to the Cowboys as um, Jalen Hurts didn't play. I have no idea if he's playing, but I don't think it's going to matter either way because I'm going to pick the Eagles for this one. All right, then... We get to a big one, the NFC South, as it's the Panthers at the Buccaneers. Panthers won the last one. The Buccaneers haven't beaten them since 2021, and the Panthers haven't won in Tampa since 2019. So, the Panthers, if they lose here, they're eliminated. Buccaneers, if they win, they clinch a playoff spot for the third year in a row, and the NFC South for the second year in a row. It's do or die for both teams, pretty much as the Buccaneers are also trying to avoid their first losing season since 2019. So the Panthers ran over the Lions, humiliated them as they've improved their record from last year. Maybe showing Steve Wilkes maybe should get the job going forward as they're looking pretty solid right now, at least keep it in there. And the Buccaneers beat the Cardinals barely in overtime as they're not looking really good. This is a very important game for both teams. And you know what? Maybe in a possible upset, I think I'm going to pick the Panthers for this one. And then watch the Buccaneers are going to destroy the Panthers. Then it's the Browns at the Commanders for the first time since 2016. As the Browns won the last one, the Commanders haven't beaten them since 2016. And the Browns haven't won in Landover since 1988. And the um, Browns, of course, are eliminated. The Commanders, if they win and the Lions, Seahawks, and Packers all lose, they'll be in the playoffs for the first time since 2020, along with getting their first non-losing season since 2016. 
So the Browns, of course, lost to the um, Saints. They are eliminated. Meanwhile, the Commanders got boat raced by the 49ers. No surprise. They've now lost two in a row as they're trying to get a 500 record for the first time since 2016. As now they're starting with Wentz the rest of the way. Browns are struggling. Commanders are somewhat struggling, even though their defense is still pretty good. I'm going to pick the Commanders for this one. And then we get to the 4 p.m. games. Starting off with the 49ers at the Raiders for the first time since 2014. The 49ers won the last one. The Raiders haven't beaten them since 2014. And the 49ers haven't won on the road since 2006. So the 49ers, of course, um, beat the Commanders pretty convincingly as they honestly look like one of the scariest teams in the NFC. They are right up there with Eagles in terms of like performance. And the, the um, Raiders lost to the Steelers. Unfortunately for them, as they are now have not only their first losing season since 2019, but they are eliminated from the playoffs. As they're still playing tough, as now they're going to bench Derek Carr, so that's going to be unfortunate for them. That's going to really hurt. So I'm going to pick the 49ers for this one. Then it's a big hour conference matchup as the Jets are at the Seahawks for the first time since 2020. The Seahawks won the last four. The Jets haven't beaten them since 2004. And they haven't won Seattle since 1997. So the Jets are trying to get above 500. So the Jets, if they lose and the Dolphins win, they will be eliminated from the playoffs. The Seahawks, if they lose and the um, Giants and Commanders, no, not the Giants, the Commanders w win, they will be eliminated from the playoffs. So it's do or die for either team if they want to make the playoffs. As the Jets lost again the fourth one to the Jets, as they, you know, the Jets, the Jaguars, as they bench Zach Wilson again, no surprise because he sucks. Meanwhile, the Seahawks got spanked by the Chiefs. Man, 6 and 3, now 7 and 8 on the verge of being eliminated. Just nothing going right for the Seahawks after this late point in the season, unfortunately for them. But I'm going to pick the Seahawks still for this one. Then it's the Vikings at the Packers. As the Vikings won the last one, the Packers haven't beat them since 2021. And the Vikings haven't won in Lambeau since 2020. So, of course, the um, Vikings, if they lose, they're going to be stuck at least as the second seed. Meanwhile, the Packers, if they lose, they are eliminated from the playoffs. So, big game for both of them. The Vikings need to have win to get a better seed. The Packers need to win to keep their season alive. As the Vikings won in a tough game against the Giants as they pulled it off in the end. The Packers making their comeback like the Steelers are. As they now won three in a row. Beating the Dolphins as they're trying to get at 500 for the first time since week six. As they're really on the verge of trying to salvage the season and get back into the playoff race. As it's right there on the mark for them to do so. And I'm going to pick the Vi um, Packers for this one. So then we get to... What originally was going to be Sunday night, but was flexed out as it's an out, um, interstate, inner city matchup. The Rams at the Chargers for the first time since 2014. Rams won the last one. The Chargers haven't beaten them since 2014. And the Rams haven't won on the road since 1975. So the um, Chiefs, I mean, um, Chargers are trying to get their first back to back win season. So the um, Rams crushed the Broncos on Christmas Day, looking really dominant. As that was a needed win, although their season's still horrible. Meanwhile, the Chargers beat the Colts last week to get into the playoffs for the first time since 2018. Now it's just about getting maybe a better seed, possibly. As an inter interesting game, possibly. Let's see if the Rams can keep that momentum up from the Christmas Day victory. But I'm still going to pick the Chargers for this one. Then it's Sunday night, as it's the Steelers at the Ravens. Good the, um, old school rivalry where I'm at. As the Ravens won the last one, the Steelers haven't beaten them since 2021. The Ravens haven't won at home against them since 2019. As the Steelers, if they lose and the um, Dolphins win, they are eliminated from, from the playoffs. Actually, no, since they lose, they're eliminated no matter what. No matter what the Dolphins do. Meanwhile, and to get their first losing season since 2003. Meanwhile, the Ravens, if they win and the Bengals lose, they'll take back the lead in the AFC North. But it's going to come down to possibly the final week. Of the season, although we still got scenario coming up, which we'll talk about later on. So the Steelers uh, beat the Raiders in defensive struggle as they're making the comeback too. They were three and seven, now they've gone seven and eight. So they're making that comeback to get back to five hundred for the first time since week two. Meanwhile, the Ravens beat the Falcons in defensive struggle as they are in the playoffs 
for the first time since 2020. So good on them. Now I have no idea if Lamar Jackson is playing or not. But honestly, I don't think it really matters because I really don't have faith against the, Ra for the Ravens against the Steelers. So I'm actually going to pick the Steelers in a possible upset. And then we get to finally Monday night. The final Monday night. Well, actually, no, because the um, two Saturday games that they do in Week 18 are considered Monday night. As a huge one, too, as it's the Bills at the Bengals. For the first time since 2017, Bills won the last one. The Bengals haven't beaten them since that 2017 game. And the, the Bengals haven't beaten them since that 2017 game. And the Bills haven't won Cincinnati since 2016. So the Bills, if they win and the Chiefs lose, they will clinch home field advantage for the first time since 1993. Bengals, meanwhile... If they win or the Ravens lose, they will clinch the AFC North for the second year in a row. And if they win and the Chiefs lose, they will move up to the number one seed and, and a win could clinch it. So, like, basically three teams are fighting for the number one seed, which is insane. So, anyways, the Bills crush the Bears after a slow start as their defense has not been looking good lately, especially that passing defense. But they've now won six in a row, having, like, one of the longest streaks in the league. Meanwhile, the Bengals... Um, beat the Patriots as they've also have like the of uh, one of the longest win streaks in the league, and these teams are on a roll, and this could be an offensive um shootout. This game could be insane and a huge invocation in the playoffs. And you know what? Their defense isn't as good, but you know what? I'm actually gonna pick the Bengals in a possible upset for this one. So there, there's my picks for week six, the week seventeen. I cannot wait for Cowboys at Titans tonight. So my picks going into week 16, you know, week 17 are Cowboys over Titans, Cardinals over, I mean, yeah, Cardinals over Falcons, Lions over Bears, Texans over Jaguars, Chiefs over the Broncos, Patriots over Dolphins, Colts over Giants, Eagles over Saints, um, Panthers over Buccaneers, Commanders over 49ers, no, Commanders over Browns, 49ers over Raiders, Seahawks over Jets, Packers over Vikings, Chargers over Rams, Steelers over Ravens, and Bengals over the Bills. So I'll see you guys next Friday or Saturday for my Week 18 picks to wrap up the season. So I have no idea what time the four, um, Sunday, Saturday games that they do them are going to be. So next Friday or Saturday are going to be my final picks of the season. So see you guys then.